Hey everybody, it's Cece, and today we're going to be doing the AG Tuber Tag, but it's my version, and I just know that this one's kind of old, and I just figured that everybody, most um, people actually just have done the AG Tuber Tag already, and I decided to make a new updated version. Link in description if I can find the original one, um, because maybe that one's more up your alley, and I've already posted one, so, um, you know, get the questions from there if you want. <laughs> anyway, um, let's start. Question one is, what is something you find unique about your channel? Well, personally, I find it kind of unique what I do, kind of that classic AG tube style kind of video where nobody really edited and you kind of relied on just kind of putting paper around the walls. I just think that's really cute little style. It makes it a little more charming in my opinion and I just think it's really cute. So that's pretty unique in the kind of modern-ish AG tube community. Also, I kind of leave my you know, failed speech in the video just because I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> so I guess that could be counted as unique because I used to be such a perfectionist when I filmed videos. So it's a step to, you know, being a little more genuine on my channel. The next question is, who inspired you to make videos? This is a hard question because it was so long ago. I've loved AGTube for the majority of my childhood. It's probably a toss up between Dean and Bina, Stevens What a Dancer, and AG Smiles. Question number three is, what year did you find AG and how? I found it in 2012 or 2013 and I found it on a talk show and I'm going to eventually post my Draw My AG story, which I know I've been procrastinating and I'm sorry. I just keep filming it for like three hours and then realizing I set the time lapse too fast, which is very, very frustrating because I can't do a voiceover then. I don't want to spoil too much, but we're doing a story about the historical characters on a talk show. Question number four is, what what year did you find AG Tube? And for me, it was that exact day right after I saw the story. I looked it up on YouTube. Once again, I don't want to give the story away because I'm saving it for a video, but I watched all kinds of videos. And um, <laughs> that was when I found AG Tube. Number five is AG Pet Peeves and... For me, I'm just trying to think of things that haven't been said a million times. You know, like the doll falling over while filming, hitting your hand into the wall while filming. And um, for me, it's probably like flyaways in their hair, which you can see a lot when you pull a lamp out. That bothers me a little. <laughs> Number six is what's a good experience slash something amazing that's happened from your time on AGTube. These are kind of more things that happen on AGIG but are linked with AGTube for me because I've just been on AGIG more. But people I've watched and idolized since I was a child asking for links to my channel and liking my photography. That is so surreal and amazing and that's definitely a good experience that's come from it. Question number seven is what is your dream doll slash dream custom? I already have my dream doll, Grow of the Year, number 2013, not number 2013, 2013. Sage Copeland. Hiya. She is stealing Virginia's spotlight. But my dream custom would probably have to be a medium skin tone Kaya mold with kind of a glossy red tinted lip and a winged liner look and kind of a uneven bob. So that's my dream custom and that just makes my heart go, my heart just explodes and I love that idea. But I definitely don't have the heart to cut doll hair and also attempt to do makeup. Maybe when I'm older. Also, don't steal my custom ideas. <laughs> Question number eight is, what is, who is your favorite? Uh, classic AG tuber and oh my god. I'm, I really want to say AG smiles. I mean, I had a Belita poster on my wall. Um, Aspen Heights started the obsession for a lot of people. It was definitely a staple of my childhood. But my favorite's gonna have to go to baby, 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 Basil Mentos. Basil Mentos. Favorite's gonna have to be Basil Mentos. Just like that little song in the opening, you know? Basil Mentos has a new video. It just hits me right in the nostalgia and you get that just little happy feeling. I just realized a lot of my viewers are young and they probably don't remember that. And that breaks my little heart. Go watch an old Basil Mentos video. Next question is, what's your favorite girl of the year? And Sage. <laughs> Isabel also holds a special place in my heart. I really love Luciana. Can't remember the girl of the year for this year. <laughs> oh yeah, like a yeehaw redhead gal. I remember it now. 
Question number 10 is AGSM or AG Live Action. And I kind of have to say kind of AG Live Action because, you know, that kind of, you can't get the hair flip in stop motion. And that's something I just always laugh at a lot. You know, Chris's crazy adventures and all that. Whoosh, that went on. But AGSMs are so charming, so that's a tie for me. And last but not least, question 11. How long on average does it take you to make a video? About an hour, an hour and a half to film, 10 to 30 minutes to edit, and a couple days, but around three hours or so to write a script. So even though I kind of go for a playful, crafty look with my videos, they actually take like a lot of effort. So all the questions will be in the description and I tag AG Jitters and Pink Bubbles. And of course, anybody who wants to do it. And if you do it, please tag me on Instagram or, you know, DM me. And I'll definitely watch it and like it and comment and all that. And I just love to see you do it. And while you're on my Instagram, why don't you drop a quick follow, wink wink. Anywho, um, thanks for watching. Love y'all. Bye. Y'all remember like 2012 YouTube when everybody stopped their videos with this?